What's up guys, my name is Fran and once again, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be checking out the GoPro Omni. Okay, so personally, I've always been into 360 video and virtual reality. And with me being an amateur videographer, it's only natural for me to want to create 360 video content. So when I first started to venture into this whole 360 video space, I naturally went more towards the more consumer-based products, simply because they look a lot easier than a bunch of GoPros hooked up to a rig. I tried out the Samsung Gear 360 VR camera as well as the Kodak Pix Pro. So while these consumer-based cameras were definitely a lot easier to use and the stitching process was definitely a lot easier, the quality just wasn't that great. I then started to venture into more professional solutions. So I went with the Bootleg Freedom 360 rig because I definitely feel like paying a couple of hundred dollars for a piece of plastic that all it does is hold a couple of GoPros is definitely overpriced. So while the quality coming off of the Bootleg Freedom 360 rig was definitely a lot higher than the consumer-based products, this still was actually ridden with a lot of other issues. It was a challenge to get all of the GoPros to start recording at the exact same time, even with the utilization of the GoPro RC remote. You also had to remember to create audio cues such as clapping to get all the GoPros to have a syncing point for later in post. Now I'm sure GoPro recognized all these challenges when it came to creating 360 content. And I think that's why they released this. This is the GoPro Omni. So the GoPro Omni retails for about $1,500. Now this is just the rig. It's only compatible with the GoPro Hero 4 Black, so you're gonna need about six of those to stick inside the rig to start recording 360 video. Now they have another package that costs about $5,000, and that includes all six of the GoPro Hero 4 Blacks that you need for your 360 video. But it also includes a couple of extras, such as a battery so you can keep all of the GoPros continuously recording for about three hours. It also comes with a lot of the critical software that you're gonna need to to actually stitch all the video together in post. Now I will say that the software that's included in the higher end package is very critical to operating the GoPro Omni and making 360 video content creation easier. Okay, so the GoPro Omni rig costs about $1,500. That's a lot more than the Freedom 360 of a couple of hundred dollars and way more than the $60 I paid for the Selens rig. So why does it cost so much? Well, it has one advantage over the others. In the center, there's an interface that actually creates this sort of a mesh network of all the GoPros that are attached to it. So within the rig, each GoPro is actually labeled one through six. GoPros number two through six are actually acting as slave units, while GoPro number one is the master and it commands all the rest. So anything that you do on GoPro number one actually propagates down to all the other GoPros. For example, if you do something like power on GoPro number one, or even format the SD card, all of this happens on all of the rest. But most importantly, if you hit the record button, it also records in all the other GoPros as well. Now this is great for synchronization because one of the biggest challenges that actually happens in creating 360 video is getting all of these traditionally independent cameras to act as one. So over the weekend, we had some pretty nice weather here in New York City. So me and my girlfriend decided to head out to a local park and actually record some 360 video. <laughs> Okay, so now that you're done shooting your 360 video, you now have to get all six of those SD cards connected to your computer. You then import all those videos into your computer using the GoPro Omni importer. It will then turn it into a sphere and you've got yourself some 360 video. Now that's just me lightly touching on the process. It's actually super duper complicated and a lot more than that to actually get it to um, actually become a really nice 360 video. I mean, you're probably gonna end up using about three or four different pieces of software just to get a final product. So overall, I think the GoPro Omni is actually a pretty cool piece of hardware. It resolves a lot of the crazier synchronization issues uh, that most content creators have when they're going to create something like a 360 video, or even take some 360 portrait photography. Now the GoPro Omni is not without competition. There are a number of other manufacturers out there who make 360 cameras that make it even easier to capture and stitch 360 video. 
And all of these cameras also come in around the exact same price tag of about four to $5,000 as well. Either way, I do think the GoPro Omni is a step in the right direction. And hopefully a couple years from now, shooting 360 video will be as easy as it is taking on our cell phone and shooting a really quick video. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. All of the 360 content that I captured in the park, I'm gonna be uh, editing it up a little bit. It might take me some time because I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'll be uploading it this, to this channel so you guys can actually check out what the video quality looks like. But YouTube does do a lot more compression of 360 videos than it does of regular videos. So I'll also be leaving another link to a Wistia player that actually uh, doesn't do as much compression of the videos. So it'll just be a higher quality 360 video. I'll also leave a download link in that very same 360 video so you guys can download the 360 video and really see what the raw footage quality looks like opposed to uh, what the footage looks like once it's uploaded to a player. It's like night and day difference. But anyway guys, that's it. Um, hopefully I didn't go too production on you guys. I know this is more of a tech channel uh, and I didn't want to go that far, but I do think it's a pretty cool gadget uh, looking at the GoPro Omni. But anyway guys, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Also while you're down there, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, my name is Fran. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Hopefully I see you guys in the next one.